First off, I'd like to apologise for my lack of reviews as of late. Uh, I'm doing a course at the moment and I haven't had time to uh, do many reviews, as many as I'd like. Uh, so I apologise for my lack of reviews and the shortness of this review. I realise um, this review may not be as to the point as my other reviews have been. Um, and perhaps maybe I shouldn't have even loaded it up. But um, I felt that I, I needed to put some kind of content out and do a review. And uh, this is one of the ones that I'd watched recently. So uh, I just thought I'd give you possibly a more vague uh, opinion on it than maybe I would before due to my uh, amount of work. But my opinion all the same. So this is my somewhat short review of A Buddha Sooth released in 1960. This might be a shock to some people, but I'm not a big fan of this film. I know, I know, it's a crime not to like this film. I respect the techniques used and the influence of French New Wave on cinema, impact of which can still be seen today. And before you say it, it's not about not understanding it or anything like that, well, maybe a little bit, but it's about being bored by it. Again, I respect the, the camera tricks and the style, but at the end of the day, it's about the story, and I couldn't get into it. There are a few moments I enjoyed about this film. I think the more playful, flirtatious interactions between Michelle and Patricia are my favourite parts of the film. However, I felt the film dragged in too many places. I also got tired of the same music cues being used over and over. I do like elements of French New Wave, I say, but I prefer the film such as A Band Apart. Perhaps my dislike for this film may be more about the passage of time, in that the French New Wave is so well known for its, for its uh, visual cues and its musical cues that it's become almost a cliché. So with all the parodying of, of films such as this, maybe to see a film like this now may make it seem a little tiresome in the fact that, you know, it's stupid to say really because it, it was what it is and they are parodied of it, but at the same time, I think it's so steeped in its cliches in terms of its characters um, and its style and general look that maybe that might have contributed to my uh, disliking of the film. But I, I still think mainly it was just the fact that I didn't like the story, I couldn't really get into the story. All in all, I felt it was best when it played on the more comedic side of their interactions, but when it strayed from that and from their relationship, which to be fair it didn't often, but but it got a little boring, or maybe more to the point, maybe they just did that one too many times. You can't fall in love with them all, and I'm sorry this is not one for me. Feel free to argue for this film and post comments below. Please try to keep them constructive, and I will attempt to respond as such.